his opponent the contender spawned as the yellow zerg in the bottom left uh bottom left side yeah bottom left corner of overgrove it is lambo and unfortunately is currently teamless not with alternate anymore on the top right hand side we have our green zerg playing for team liquid it is the little one and um yeah he just shot his uh, he just showed his mighty zerg prowess i'd um love to see him take this one especially since lambo did beat him uh, in the last qualifier on wednesday i believe that was wednesday maybe wednesday might have been tuesday huh. Who cares? Um, yeah, kind of unfortunate. I love Lambo too. Uh, he's a, pr a pretty amazing Zerg player. I don't know how his ZVZ is though, so we better check out Illegal Luck and cheat a little bit to find out if he is a good ZVZ player. This is Overgrowth, so I would kind of expect a pool first, but then again, um, I also messed up on that part before, so we'll have to see. And it looks like it's gonna be a hatch first. Coming out of TLO at least, and would expect the same. Oh, no, Lambo actually going for the pool first. So first time not both of them uh, are going for the same going for the same opening. And there's a large advantage for TLO, according to Illegal Luck. Current score is um, 6 to 4. And there's the pool for TLO, quite a bit later. But if he pulls this off and Lambo doesn't go for crazy aggression early on, or TLO can defend it quite well, then he's definitely in the better spot. <laughs> yeah, Millard and uh, Schlumpfine are one of TLO's stream mods, or at least, at least they were. I don't know if they have, still have the time, but that's probably why you see them hanging around in TLO's chat. And there's that next game. Okay, next level, next level mechanics. I'd like to see him out of both of these guys. Uh, gas is finished for Lambo. Immediately sends three workers in there. And we'll get a little bit of a sooner speed upgrade. Two links are coming out for TLO. Um, no links uh, for Lambo yet, so that's, um, that's one of the things that we saw last time for TLO. Um, where you save the links and um, go for a little bit of an earlier gas timing instead. But so far both of them are droning up, so nothing out of the ordinary. TLO is again going for more queens, so he's possibly doing that roach, roach attack one more time, but we'll have to see. Lambo finally going for that speed upgrade and sticking to the gas. And will we Will he produce a couple more queens? Nope. Not yet. Not yet, at least. Let's see, can TLO get in there? Yeah. Yeah, he sure can. He sure can, and he can sure check out that, uh, that gas timing. So we'll have clicked. We'll see, okay, uh, speed should be coming here pretty soon. And I should prepare accordingly. Of course, Evil Chamber goes down immediately, and I would like to see that Watch Warren up here pretty soon as well. Uh, why is it actually not happening? I wanted to get that next round of drones started. Or is he doing something else entirely? But he doesn't have speed yet, so... Um, oh, yes he is. He's doing something else entirely. Going for a layer, skipping the Roach Warren. But going for the plus one missile attack. Nope, there, there's that Roach Warren. But quite a bit later, and the first links are making their way over. It's not too many yet, but Lambo is still producing, still churning out them links, and it's already uh, 14 out on the map. So that's something that TLO should worry about. He sees them now, sees them now with his Overlord. We'll <laughs> will throw down another Evo Chamber, but again, not going for any spines. Yes, he will. Yes, he is. There's one. There's one. Doesn't want to risk it all. And there are the Bane links coming in, and not quite getting to the Evo Chamber. Wants to get a little bit more damage in and then use the Bane links for any um, emergency links or maybe even in the drone line. Oh, can he get a hit off? Yes, he can. Two drones are going down. And those links are still running rampant. TLO will have to react. We'll have to get a couple links. Spinecrawler is cancelled. And maybe he can block these links. Nope. 
They get into the main. TL only has a few links available and no speed. This doesn't look good, but a nice surround on those links clears it up. And Lambo not going for all out aggression. He has a follow up behind this, going for the third instead, and going for a little bit of an earlier uh, layer. But TLO, he lost quite a bit in this engagement. Six workers were killed. A couple of buildings had to be cancelled. He had to throw down his whole roach attack plan. So um, I think this uh, definitely threw a wrench in his whole machine. Uh, how do the scores work? Um, the scores are uh, their ELO scores. Um, which is a ranking system based around, uh, oops, sorry about that, uh, based around, um, I think the default ranking for an average player is 1500 or something. At least that's how it works in most games. I think it was originally developed by a guy named Elo um, for chess, if I'm not mistaken, but maybe someone can read up Wikipedia and tell us how it works. But it basically goes up. Um, it goes up by a lot if you beat a stronger player than you. Goes up by a little if you beat a weaker player than you. And doesn't do all that much um, if you just beat a player. Wait, wait, well, it goes down if you lose. And then also depending on their ranking, of course. And we'll have that first little engagement with Roaches and TLO. We see that effect of the early attack by Lambo. He has Roaches in place, and he has that third a little bit earlier, TLO not quite getting there in time. Well, he has a couple of Roaches to follow this up, and he has the plus one attack now. Roach speed is also finished, but he's fighting on creep, so it's not going to matter all that much. And yep, yeah, that's definitely the Roach advantage for Lambo. 16 to 8, that's not going to work, Mr. Dario. We'll need to find another angle with this. They're almost equal in drones, and there's the run by attempt by Lambo. Uh, mind you, TLO still doesn't have speed, and I think um, you always need speed. You you kind of always want to go for speed, otherwise you can't do these run bys. Like right now, TLO, even if it goes into the later game, he's gonna be confined to just attacking with roaches all the time, unless he makes a big tech switch into mutas or something happen, which right now doesn't seem all that likely. So he's still reliant on Roaches for attacks, and you can't really do any speed run buys with Roaches. So, uh, f six gas is being taken here by Lambo. And that's uh, a little bit of a gas advantage to him. TL not quite going for that just yet. And that's uh, finally the income advantage for Lambo. By a tiny bit. Ooh, and there's the Tunneling Claws upgrade. He's going for Burrow as well. I think Tyrol, yep, he already has Burrow. And he's going for the Baneling Nest now as well. Interesting option. I think these are mostly defensive Banelings. I think what he's trying to do here is just go for a massive Roach attack. Um, not go for any links that much, but instead go for Banelings uh, in his Mineral Lines as defense. Um, is a little bit better, uh, a little bit more cost effective than leaving behind, uh, behind lots of Roaches. Since you really want to have all roaches for the attack. But right now Lambo, man, he is still king uh, in the roach count. And he's also working on that plus two upgrade. Yellow did finish his plus one armor attack upgrade, so he's still um, much better as far um, as uh, as direct engagement goes. If, if they're on equal, equal numbers, equal counts. And he's working on the adrenal glands upgrade, so that's going to help out quite a bit as well. Renal glands, <clears throat> and of course quite a bit of uh, infestors behind his roach force uh, would help out quite a bit. Also, um, getting started on that fourth base at the gold position. Uh, this is gonna get scouted out by Lambo almost immediately. And, ooh, nice deny here. TLO deli delaying that uh, gold from going down for quite a, bit, quite a bit. Since there is no overseer available right here, we'll have to move this one. And there are those banelings morphing in. I don't really know what he's doing with this. Oh, nice little run by. Couple of roaches. Not doing all that much. Just nine workers killed, but every little bit helps, of course. He did have the drone advantage just now, but now he needs to defend this fourth base. And right now, um, he has cleared the way, but he's not. He's not really reacting to this. I think he's just gonna let the fourth slide. 
Yep, he's just gonna let it, let Lambo kill it, because he can't deal with this massive roach army right now. It's 53 roaches against 53 roaches, but a massive amount of banelings, so he really wants to get in a good spot here. And not a lot of infestors yet for TLO. And he really needs those infestors. Ooh, what a great angle for Lambo. Banelings, ooh, nice, nice fungal on those banelings. All of the banelings really uh, got fungled there, but TLO still has the lower count of roaches. Still down to 34 roaches, but he's clear, kind of, kind of handling the situation. Still producing 8, 90 more roaches. He has the, um, he has the supply line advantage, so those roaches really get the fight soon, but he needs them right now, I think. Lambo can clear this up. There's a few roaches trickling in here or there, but only 20 more were produced here, so I think Lambo has enough to uh, clear the space, but TLO, well... Uh, more and more roaches are trickling in, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. If Lambo's reinforcements get here, he can probably clear this out. Yep, yes he can. TLO, there is the GG. Couldn't quite make it here. Wow. Really, I mean, this kind of went wrong from, from start to finish for TLO. It was, it was really hard for him to stop this. Um, I think he had the right idea for going um, into the earlier infestors. Having a few infestors av available will not cut that much into his roach count. And he didn't go for too many banelings. Maybe he could have just um, screwed the banelings altogether. Stayed completely defensive, get that fourth up, get a huge number of spines in there. Um, so you have more gas available for more infestors, and then just do that preemptive concave and just wait for for re, uh, for Lambo to get in there. That that would have been a choice um, to go for, but I don't know. Um, problem was that TLO was behind from the very start, so a tough spot to be in. All right, there we go. There's the GLHF, and the next map will be King Seon Station. There's the go go. Let's do it. Hopefully you like the cast, and if you do, make sure to leave a follow. And also follow these guys uh, on Twitter, it is of course um, TLO, at LiquidTLO, and uh, Lambo is uh, LamboSC2, I think. Yeah, is it? Yep, LamboSC2. Alright, we're loading into the next map. And TLO hasn't tried to uh, be the aggressor yet, so that's that's kind of a position I want to see from him. Maybe he can try the try it this time, but here we have our yellow Zerg spawn in the top left on King Seong Station. It is Lambo. And yeah, he was pretty pretty crazy in that last game. Early on getting a slight advantage and then just building on it and kind of demolishing TLO in the mid game and here we have him our player for team liquid the green zerg liquid tlo so yeah as i said i'd like to tlo to be the aggressor uh, in the matchup but so far he's not not really shown that and even though his defense was not really bad in that last game it also wasn't superb he did lose a couple of drones um was kind of thrown off guard by it and had to, um, uh, how do you say, well, he had to just steer off course with this whole uh, early roach attack and since he also lost a couple roaches here or there, it all adds up and then Lambo had the perfect reaction going for an earlier third, helped him out quite a bit in the late game there. And it's again, hatch first by both of them. So that does seem to be convention here on King Seon Station. Oh, okay. Aligulak is not based along the ELO system, but Glico system, which I've never heard about. TLO getting the earlier spawning pool this time, and a little bit later gas. So we'll see earlier speed for Lambo. But he is a little bit defenseless against extremely early banelings, but I doubt that TLO will throw these out. 
But he needs to make a comeback happen. Needs to make it happen quick. There we go. All three workers are in gas for both of these guys. Lambo, almost 50 minerals, uh, 50 gas mined. Yeah, unfortunately the um, the great fungal still didn't really help him out since um, Lambo also had the plus one armor upgrade. Uh, one fungal does not kill those banelings, and he would have needed either another fungal or a couple of nice roadsheds, which didn't really come there. A little bit unfortunate. That was a pretty amazing fungal. So well timed, and there's the speed. Speed upgrade for TLO. Quite a few seconds later, but again, uh, he had a little bit of a timing here to throw down a couple of a couple of links and maybe get on Lambo's nerves, but it didn't quite work out. Not going for that. Wow! I don't want to give you timeouts time and time again. Mr. Lover 21. <laughs> oh, Naniwa 1 0 versus Mana. Jeez. That's insane. He's getting b right back in there. I mean, he did say that um, if he wanted to, he could be the best foreigner uh, in no time once he got back in there. But. I didn't really think that it, work, it was gonna work. Oh, Lambo losing an Overlord. But also going for some crazy aggression. TLO is going for a Baneling Nest and the Spine right next to it. But those links almost getting into position. He is morphing uh, two Banelings as a defense. But he doesn't have too many Queens this time. Those Baneling Ritz really need to be spot on. He's scouting out a lot of links. He will need to react. But more drones are being produced by TLO. He's gotta be pretty confident to take this. And I'm not too certain. There are some offensive bailing morphins and some really good hits for TLO, but he still needs those banelings. Oh, that one could be huge! And it is. Wow, that was saving grace for Liquid TLO. That last last baneling hit really, really got him. Well, got him the win. To be honest, that that was I think ten zerklings going down in that single baneling hit. Otherwise, this might have been a totally different game, uh, but n good job, good job. And Lambo, tiny bit of a mistake to go for the focus fire on that Baneling. But otherwise, I mean, it, w it was pretty much all in one card. You had to go for it. So yeah, we're going into a third and final map here between Liquid TLO and Lambo. I'm excited, how about you guys? That was a pretty sweet first game, pretty short uh, last game, and now we might get to see a longer, more more exciting, more action-packed third and final map. Okay, let's see, lobby is up. Still waiting on that invite. There it is. Oh, that's a map I've not seen in a while. Oxtrot Labs. I'll have to see how that works. Still waiting on Johnny Rico. Did he go offline in between? I think he might have. I think he might have gone offline. Not too sure. Ah, uh, Johnny Rico. Ah, uh, Lambo, of course. Get it mixed up with my series. It's always an issue, isn't it? Alright, fellas. Uh, we're ready. We're ready for the final game. Countdown has started. We're loading into Foxtrot Labs. And another caster has joined us. Join the casting fray. So I'm not 
I don't have to feel as bad uh, for leaving you guys since you do have uh, Take TV and uh, the Polish caster Emil casting the um, TLO from now on. Uh, at least that's what I would assume here. So I don't, I don't have to feel bad for leaving you guys. Um, but let, let's get started with this last map for me and uh, for TLO or Lambo. We'll have to see. Yeah, we have him spawned in the top left corner as the green Zerg here on Foxtrot Labs. He's playing for Team Liquid. It is TLO. And his opponent, as always, the yellow Zerg, Lambo. Foxtrot maps, uh, Foxtrot Labs, not a huge map. So we'll have to see if uh, it's gonna be aggression again. Right now, I'm not betting on TLO being the aggressor. Alright, I added a couple of mods to get... <laughs> To get rid of her filth. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a hatch first from Lambo and TLO. He is going for the spawning pool first. Okay, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, Mr. Little One. There's the gas out of Lambo. So it looks like he wants to go for the earlier speed again. Spawning pool a little bit later. But this is a nice timing. If, if you throw it down like that, um, you get the 100 gas um, the exact moment the spawning pool finishes, pretty much. Oh, no, wait, what's that? Uh, well, there's something about that. I've <laughs> not actually played in ages, but I think that was a nice timing if you throw down the gas at, at an earlier timing. So, something along those lines. Gas yes, coming out a little bit later for TLO. And not going for any links straight away. But instead, of course, throwing down the first queen. Lambo's gonna be a little bit later on his queen due to the spawning pool just being that much later. And you see, yeah, I was almost right, but Lambo didn't quite get the timing. Spawning pool is done and the 100 gas are in there. And he's leaving his drones in. So is TLO, but he still doesn't have the other gas. So we'll have to see. Also not going for any uh, links just yet, so it's not going to be a crazy aggressive move here. But TLO, but Lampo instead, going for 8 circling straight away. There's the Bailing Nest, it's going to be aggression again, out of Lambo. TLO, he has an Overlord here. And it's almost in position to see what's coming out out of the main. And he's scouted two links, two links. Did he? Can he scout the rest? Nope. Queen is moving over. He's not going to scout the remainder of these of these links. It's already quite a few here. Eight links. Two are quite offensive over here. But these are just regular scouting links. These don't really tell you all that much. And right now, Tilo not uh, not in the best spot to defend this. Bane nest is built in the main. So can't really be used as a defense for the spine. But yeah, he's scouting the links. And what's his reaction going to be? It's gonna be a spine over there. And he can morph in Bane Links soon, but still needs to buy a little bit of time. Should probably move these drones up and then keep the queens on the um on the edge there. On the ramp. Ooh, Bane Links are morphed in quite, quite up front. First Bane Link goes down. Second Baneling hits the Queen. Oh, the Queen goes down. He really needs that Queen. Drones will have to be pulled here to help out and keep these Banelings alive somehow. And Banelings, they are so incredibly slow. Some offensive Banelings being morphed in here by Lambo. Does he have... Can he spare enough Zerklings to deal with these? If he gets another great Baneling hit like that last game, that would help out quite a bit. But he needs to get rid of that Baneling. And he does. No additional Banelings being morphed in by Lambo, I think. I think he has enough Banelings here to stop this. Oh, but the second Banelink didn't really hit all that much. Uh, he needs more Banelings. He needs more Banelings to stop this Onslaught. And Lambo going for another offensive, offensive Baneling move here. 
maybe you can clear it up with the drones and additional links that are coming out. Those buildings are not gonna get finished, uh, but more and more links are streaming in and TLO, he still has the upper hand as far as the workers is concerned. Lambo, he's still throwing links, more and more links at him. And there are more offensive bane links being morphed in. TLO only has a little bit of minerals to spare. Just one bane link to stop this, and that's not gonna be enough. Wow! Six bane links being morphed in. Uh, one bane link is definitely not gonna save you here, TLO. And he... Wow, that was a pretty sweet hit, though. But one bane link is not gonna make... not gonna work. That's the first Baneling making its way over here. Nice block here with the drones. Baneling not hitting again. Those Banelings don't quite reach over there. Now they do. And TLO, his drone numbers are dwindling. Can Lambo do it again? Can he defeat him 2-1? to one? one more time. It certainly looks like it, but maybe TLO can make something happen here. Two more links are being produced, but he doesn't have the minerals to throw down another spot and throw down another Baneling. And Lambo still rallying in there, still sending more and more links over. TLO taking out the single bane link, but there's the GG. Lambo does it once again and moves on to the round of 16. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry for all the TLO fans. He couldn't quite make it. He'll have to um, go for another revenge run next week because we still have three more, four more qualifiers coming up. Four more qualifiers coming up for the WCS EU.